Hi guys, welcome to a walkthrough of Edexcel IGCSE Computer Science Paper 1 from May 2019. In this video, we are looking at question 1. So I intend to do the whole of this paper in a selection of videos. I'll add it all to the playlist. You can see that this, this paper is two hours long and you need to have pseudocode with it. A calculator is not allowed in this exam. So here's question 1. Computers are made of both hardware and software components. A. Computers use the three-step computational model. Complete the diagram with the names of the three steps. Now we're looking here for input, process and output. The classic three-box model, input, process, output. So for three marks, nice and easy I reckon, we've got input, process and output. And each one of those is worth three marks each. Question B, identify the hardware component responsible for controlling the fetch to code execute cycle. The FDE cycle is the cycle that the central processing unit does, does hertz number of cycles per second. And so what is responsible for controlling that is obviously B, the central processing unit or CPU. Question C, von Neumann developed a stored program concept that permits two different types of data items to reside in memory name these two types the two types are data and instructions d some computers use virtual memory explain how virtual memory works virtual memory is basically when your computers run out of ram uh, you might be open, have too many windows open too many things going on at once the, you've not got enough ram to cope with it all so what the computer will do is use a section of your hard drive as RAM. So it becomes like virtual RAM. Out of main memory, it will use a section of the hard drive as virtual memory. So they can store instructions or data not being used currently. An optical storage device writes data onto a CD or DVD. Describe how data is stored physically on optical media. So CDs and DVDs are also known as optical media. To explain that, I've borrowed this website. Just look at this diagram here. It shows it quite nicely. So here we've got a laser shining onto the surface of a CD. And here you can see the, the um, pits and the bumps there. And that's how data is restored. So the laser is shined onto these and it reflects back whether it's shined onto a pit or a bump and it comes back to this prism and the sensor picks it up there so these bumps and pits represent ones and zeros so whatever is reflected back is a one or a zero so start my answer here a laser beam is used and reflected onto the surface of the cd this represent ones and zeros and reflected back to a sensor when a laser is shined on them question f a disk formatting program is an example of a type of software. Identify the type. Type of software is system software. It's not security or application software. Remember, security software is looking after the system security. Application software, something like an application using, for example, word processor. Translation software may be translating a different language into, into your language. So the only correct answer for that is system software. Now, that is a total of... 11 marks out of 80. So I will link down below in the description this paper and the mark scheme. Thank you very much for watching.